it is very important for us to know that which d orbital has participated in d type of the hybridization the d type of hybridization are sp3 d sp3 d2 or you can also say it is d2 sp3 sp3 d3 and d sp2 so for a complex if the coordination number is 5 6 7 and 4 there can be participation of the d orbital please remember coordination number is indicating number of hybridized orbital by the central metal atom and that is num that is equal to the number of the coordinate bond so when you say sp3d can you count there is only one d orbital involved and we know that the d subshell is consisting of five orbitals so if it is sp3d so the geometry of this molecule will be trigonal bipyramidal and the d orbital which is involved is d z square or it is d z 2 so d z 2 is oriented in 180 degree which helps in making axial bonds we know that axial bonds are that is two axial bonds which are perpendicular to the trigonal planar structure the structure will be like this there will be two bonds which are one is above the plane one is below the plane and there will be three bond which are equatorial bond so this axial bonds are formed by overlapping of dz square orbital so please remember if it is sp3d the orbital which involved is what dz square student if the coordination number is 6 there can be two different type of the hybridization one is sp3d2 if the d is involved from the outer d subshell it is referred as outer orbital complex and the d is involved from the inner shell it is referred as inner orbital complex so in both the cases the geometry of the molecule is same that is octahedral and there are two d orbital involved so the two d orbital which are involved namely is dz square and dx square y square or you can say dz2 or dx2 y2 so the reason behind this you will see dx2 y2 d square involve maximum directional character which matches with px py pz orbital involved in the sp3 d2 dz square is oriented in 180 degree which helps in making axial bonds that is two bonds perpendicular to the trigonal that is of the hydral structure it should be of the hydral structure so there should be two bonds one is x above the plane one is below the plane and there will be four bonds which are on to the plane if it is pentagonal bipyramidal student if it is pentagonal bipyramidal so sp3d3 and the coordination number is 7 and the orbital which involved is dx y x z and d y z so if there are 3d orbital it is the set of this three orbital dxy dxz and dyz so dxy xz and yz involve maximum directional characteristic which matches with the px py and pz orbital involved in sp3d2 and if you will see dx square y square and dz square also matches with the maximum directional character but three orbitals are required please remember since there are three orbitals are required so dx square y square and dz square are not taken it is taken as what d x y x z and y z for d sp2 hybridization the geometry see what should be the geometry of the pentagonal bipyramidal yes there should be two axial bonds and there should be five bond on to the plane for dsp2 hybridization the coordination number is 4 and the geometry of the complex is square planar there is only one d orbital involved so it is d x square and y square so d x square y square involve maximum directional character which matches with the px py orbital involved in dsp2 so we all have to remember the set of d orbital which involve into the specific hybridization this is very important 
from the entrance point of view. So you just try to remember for sp3d dz square, sp3d2 or d2 sp3d dx square y square dz square, sp3d3 a set of three orbital dx y xz dyz, and for dsp2 it is dx2 and y2.